Hi all and welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our ongoing video user guide for APT where this time we're going to be taking a look at polar alignment via plate solving or PAPS as it's commonly called. Now PAPS is one of the several features that I want to do with the, my, my mount set up under the stars uh, simply because it shows better how things work uh, rather than have the almost perfect uh, simulator going. So last night I had my first semi-clear night in two months, so I managed to get everything out and set up. So this is what I got when I did PAPS. Just excuse any iffy bits in the video. Um, I'm not used to doing it while having my gear set up and running, so this is the way it goes. Uh, I hope this helps you. Talk to you later. Okay, so this is me running PAPS live. Um, I'm just going to zoom in on this so you can see what's going on. Uh, these are the settings I used. I want the mount to be moved automatically. Um, I'm on the east side, so I want it moving east. Now I need to define my first point because there is a bit of a problem with uh, perhaps at the moment where if you're in the southern hemisphere, it'll point you at the wrong side of the meridian. Um, it'll point it towards the south celestial pole rather than up to the northern meridian and it uh, causes problems. So they are the settings I use and that's why I have to use them. So I'm going to set that and I'm going to hit start. So the first thing it's going to do is blind solve. Now while I need to make adjustments I'm going to be um, pausing the recording so I can go in and out and make the adjustments. So just let this blind solve. There you go. So now it's moving to the first position. And this shouldn't take too long. Uh, first clear night in two months literally and it's a surprise clear night it wasn't supposed to be so I'm wasting my clear night doing recordings for you blokes how's that you gotta love it okay there's first position oh, solved in one second I do like the new ASTAP and uh, using the uh, D80 database does well so we'll just let this go through and get its positions and once I've done all this, I'm going to do another video to tack onto this, which will be uh, using DAV to confirm what I get in here. Now, the thing to remember when you do get the results here, when it says up, it means your mount's up, so you need to go down. And when it says clockwise or counterclockwise, again, you need to go in the opposite direction. So I know I'm not too far off. Oh, okay. I am a fair way off. So I need to go up 31 and counterclockwise 43 minutes so that's a lot further off than I thought but I will do that in a minute so right now I'm going to pause this go make some adjustments and come back well that's a lot closer at the moment I do suggest doing one axis at a time so I'm trying to get my elevation correct at the moment I'll wait till it does this one Oh, it's doing a pause. So I'm a lot closer than what I was. That's about 20 minutes, 20 arc minutes closer. So I need to do about a third of what I did that time. Sorry if this seems to carry on, but I've got to wait to... Yep, so I'll head out again. Okay, see how it goes at the end of this one. I'm almost there at the moment, imaging. Solving. Yeah, just a tiny bit more, I think. Well that was a pretty good one, now I'm going to work on my azimuth and uh, that needs to go a fair way counterclockwise. That's a little bit closer but it needs some more. Uh, almost there, um, I've gone a little bit too far and my altitude has changed as well. And that's probably because my mount probably isn't quite exactly flat. Uh, but that's okay, I can work with this. I'll be right back. And how did that move go? Let's have a look. Imaging, solving, oh jingies, I'm more than quite happy with that so I'm just going to let it go through again and double check that it's right and that should be it. So just remember when it says up you've got to go down and when it says clockwise you go counterclockwise so you need to do the opposite of what it says and that's looking very very good. Um, that's closer than, I'd, I would have been happy with one or two arc minutes, uh, but to have them both sitting that close, uh, yeah, nine arc seconds and five arc seconds, I'm not going to get much closer than that. 
So I'm going to stop this recording for now and then I'm going to move on to Darv and I'll use Darv to confirm what we've got here. So I'll go through that as well. Okay, be back soon.